Hello everybody once again, this is Lakua Kazu. Welcome back to another Black Desert Online video. Today I'll be sharing with you about life skills and basically how I level my life skills and why I'm leveling my life skills right now. Namely, we're talking about cooking, alchemy, gathering and processing and also about fishing as well and I'll tell you why about fishing. Okay, so let's take a look at my life skills level first, alright? So gathering, professional 5, processing, artisan 1, cooking, artisan 4, uh, alchemy, professional 3, and in terms of ranking wise, gathering, doing well, uh, cooking, top 10, alchemy, top 20. I mean, this is just in this channel. It might not be the same in other channels. And finally, processing, I'm in the A grade. All right. So, um, I'm going to be sharing with you how I level these things, right? But let's talk about why. Okay. So, this brings us to fishing, all right? So, when we talk about fishing, okay, for me personally, one of the best ways that you need to get armor stones and weapon stones, I talked about it before, is to fish. When you fish, you can get ancient relic shards, right? You need five of them to make an ancient relic shard boss scroll, and with ancient relic shard boss scrolls, you can then farm a hunter seals memory fragments, and then you can use your hunter seals to exchange for weapon, armor stones, and reform stones right now. If you want to do that and fishing is the most reliable and consistent way to actually be able to get ancient relic shards for example about six hours of fishing with my ethereal fishing rod with level two fishing from my guild skill as well as two more for about one and a half hours from Baranos Mew as well as my plus one fishing uh, clothes which is level five so I have about level, level five fishing for one and a half hours and level three fishing for the rest of the year, four and a half hours so the rod will be able to last me for 6 hours if I only have level 2 fishing for example or level 3 fishing only lasts me for about 7 hours alright because the higher your, your fishing is the faster the auto time fishing is okay so if you want to get a good fishing rod you can actually craft it which brings us to all the life skills alright I'm going to be sharing with you in this video how you can go about gathering or leveling our life skills to be able to craft a fishing rod and the key ingredients that we are talking about today is namely your pure iron crystal. So if you look at pure iron crystal, sorry, your if you're a rod, or let's say if you want to do Balanos rod, alright, you need pure copper crystals, you need pure iron crystals. The rest of the material is not hard to get because you can leave them to your workers to do, alright? And uh that, yeah. The rest of them you can get your workers to, which I'll share later on about the specific material. In any case, if you want to make your own if you're a fishing rod, because you need to craft or get a fairy fishing rod to restore the maximum durability of the rod. Right? But every time when you successfully enhance a fairy fishing rod, the durability goes up by 10, starting at 50 at level 0, plus 1 is 60, and then plus 5 is at 100. So 10 per plus, basically. And you need to use another rod to restore the maximum durability if you don't want to use random fragments. But if you want to, you can. Honestly, it's up to you. It's not really worth it because, I don't know, memory fragments are not very expensive right now, but at the same time, people will tell you to save it, okay, for future boss gear. So, I'm going to be sharing with you how you can go about, in the end of this video, craft a fear fishing rod so that you can actually AFK fish for 6 hours, and if you're like me, whom don't mind leaving your computer on the AFK fish, and you'll sleep for about 6 to 7 hours, getting a plus 3 to plus 5 fear fishing rod will be nice, will be very nice. And if you're going for the Badalos rod, to share with you why, uh, Badalos rod, has a auto fishing time reduction okay 10% at plus 0 and 1% per level which is not fantastic you can see a, a level 7 is only 18% a level 5 is 15% so I think at level 7 you get 2% more 16 no 17 is the same no 16 17 so plus 7 is plus 2 I guess but basically it's 75 durability versus 100 durability and you fish faster which means you cannot actually fish as long so Banos fishing is more for people that want to like study and fish at the same time so they're kind of there but they're kind of not there kind of thing you know what I'm saying but better not fishing is also another thing that you can have, another option. But you also need pure copper crystals. So pure iron crystals and pure copper crystals will be the two main control factors that you have. And you need five per craft. So one of the ways that you can get pure iron crystals or copper crystals is by heating or what they call melting certain secondary uh, equipment like the ornament knots. And you can when you melt them, there's a chance to get But you don't reliably get them in like... Five. You need five per craft, right? So that means you need to know a way to get pure iron crystals in large amounts. To show you how many pure iron crystals I have, I have 125 right now. And this is after I've already spent some of the iron crystals to craft tools, for example. I have tools at Calpheon right now. 
uh, shiny, shining uh, steel lumbering axes. I have pick axes at uh, Valia. I transported there. Okay. So all these things, like the shining steel pick axe, all require one to iron pistol. So I'm going to be sharing with you how I get there. Okay, it's going to be a long video, bear with me. Alright, I'm going to try and shorten this as much as possible. This is my fourth attempt recording this. Okay, just bear in mind because I think it's too long. I'm trying to be concise here. Okay, let's get. To it. And before we actually get to cooking itself, sorry, it's about 5 30 a.m. right now. You cannot start doing all these live skills until you have enough contribution points and until you have enough max energy because you don't want to go out gathering when you have 50 max energy, you go out there. Chuk, 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 uh, about 50 times and you're done chopping wood or you're done gathering rough stones or mining rough stones for that matter so you cannot be efficient until you have a sizable amount of max energy and contribution points to get the notes that you need for the materials that i mentioned just now for your rods all right so you need cp you need max energy cp very simple go watch my calfion daily uh video which will teach you how to do your calfion dailies in 10 minutes to 12 minutes very efficient and you get about 2000 uh contribution xps per day at 100 CP, you're looking at 3 to 4 CP points per day. At my current CP, you're looking at 1.5 to 2 CP points per day. So it's very good to do even until now at 199 CP. So make sure that you do your Calfion dailies every day to get CP so that you can invest CP into getting lodging for workers to get uh, nodes to invest to get the resources for your workers to go to. CP very important. Next thing, max energy. How to do your max energy. Go explore the entire map that's available right now. Go to somethinglovely.net slash BDO and look at all the notes that you need to discover talk to the note manager that kind of stuff and get uh those knowledge to increase the max energy and you want to look at 120 max energy because why every hour is 20 energy six hours is 120 energy if you sleep six hours to seven hours like me then 120 uh, max energy is a nice minimum max energy is also nice if you have alternate characters like me by default if you don't have uh you didn't buy the legendary package or the prime package you would have three character slots which means which means you can have two more alts okay alts are good for energy banking which means that you can store energy you can see that my alts have a decent amount of energy on them one hour is one energy for your alts basically all right so even if you don't log in a character you actually get one energy per hour so one day is 24 energy energy dumping is good for example you want to be real workers you know for me i have skilled or higher workers right now you can see i have five artisan i think uh yeah five artisan a lot of professional workers and the rest of them are skilled workers so energy is good for doing those things you can also use energy to get milk which i'll talk about in cooking later on because i'm not uh, there yet so get max energy uh and that'll be good when you wake up you have 120 energy or higher you can go out and then you can gather enough materials to then go level up your gathering that kind of stuff right you don't want to go there chop five minutes and then you're done then you're very done because it'd be very disruptive and inefficient to just go chop things for like 15 minutes and then okay what am i going to do now for the rest of the day right so okay i max energy up once you get to about 120 you can then worry about i mean not say worry about you can then start doing your gathering okay let's see anything else that i missed out okay so max energy and contributions done all right okay next thing so cooking how do you level up cooking craft beer as i mentioned just now how to craft beer you need grain type materials what are grain type materials you're looking at potato you're looking at wheat looking at barley looking at corn yeah so potato notes okay three notes very quickly here finto finto farm batali farm logia farm three potatoes corn two corn notes toscani farm okay two corn notes two wheat notes over at Heidel, your costa farm moretti plantation okay you have one more wheat note at calfion northern wheat plantation over here and you have one barley note here as well i believe there are more but i have not gotten those probably they cost a lot of cb so these are the most quote unquote cp efficient grain notes to get minus the corn corn is like you really want to get a lot of grain okay so you get those grain types you can then craft beer five of the grain type and then you know six mineral water uh one sugar and two levering asian equals one beer right so the more grain type you have the more beer you can craft so basically you rotate between the grain types right for example i have five thousand potato that i brought over from valia at Heido right now i'll make a lot of beers using potato today tomorrow I have wheat. I make wheat to beer. Next day, I make my barley into beer. You get the idea, right? And then later on, you have corn as well. So you rotate around all these grains and very easily and very quickly, you'll be able to level your cooking the artisan one. And you might want to stop there. Why, Kazu? You may ask, right? 为什么, 对不对? 
Okay, number one, if you notice, if you look at any in EU, they have cooking by product for contribution points, which we don't have right now for good reason, because every will be cooking for CP right now, and then you'll be able to get too much CP in a very short period of time. That's why it's not in the game right now. But later on, there should be, I won't say we later they don't add it. I'm saying there should be cooking byproduct for CP. So you want to save up your grain, right? Because the byproduct comes from how many cooking that you do. And crafting beer is the easiest thing to cook in this game. Uh, so you want to save up some of your wheat, some of your barley, some of your potatoes, some of your corn for getting a lot of cooking byproduct later on to actually go for CP. Okay, and very easily if you're not at 255 CP, which is a soft cap for CP, if I'm not wrong, the first soft cap, you can push yourself to 255 with the cooking byproduct for CP later on. So keep some of your green. The other reason why you want to keep some of your green is later on you have to make something called essence of liquor and you need flour for that. So we're talking about wheat flour, uh, corn flour, potato flour, any green type flour for essence of liquor which is made for uh, important to make the honey wine thing for imperial or something like that. So keep some of your mats when you hit artisan one cooking. You want to, you want to stop there, right? Unless you're trying to be number one cook the game, then you can go ahead and become a master. I believe somebody's a master already. Yeah, master one, I believe. There are people at master two or three already. But I just know that artisan one is cool. All right, it's cool. You can stop there. So that's done for cooking. Okay, not done for cooking yet. Okay, so remember I talked about milk, right? So there are, there are four cooking, uh, or rather milking days right now. You have one over at whale farm. Okay, there's a boy on the flute there. That gives you 10 milk. There's two over at Calfion. You have the... Uh, Thalrus dirt farm and you have the main farmland again 10 10 10 milk you can say 15 as well bare minimum and that's 45 milk minimum every day if you do the milking uh, dailies over the, at those three locations there's one more at media which you can press oh go to recurring media contribution scroll down for how to get best milk this one gives you 15 some nice good contribution exp as well uh, gathering skill experience as well as strength experience really nice and you get 15 milk as well and that's how you get milk. Why you want to get milk is because you want to make the sweet tea, which is good for life gain EXP, you can craft for yourself, not for anybody. Because selling these things right now is not that good because everyone can make them in that sense. Sweet tea is where it's at right now. Milk tea right now, everyone crafts them, so you can see 5,000 milk tea. It's quite hard to sell. Uh, to give you an idea, I have 500 milk tea that's no that not sold at the moment. Nobody is buying my milk tea. Yeah. So, milk tea and sweet tea at this point in time is more for your own usage. So I'm, I just share with you how you get your milk to make your milk tea. You also need cooking honey, which if you watch my previous videos, you will need to get the cooking honey note over here. All right, you also need fruits. Fruits you can buy from Calfion if you don't want to do farming or if you don't want to get the grape note at uh, Ovia. Yeah, if you don't want to get the grape note over here and you want to buy your fruits, if you have a lot of money, it's not very expensive. It's only 700 silver per, if I'm not wrong. And you can buy like 1,000 easily. There's a fruit vendor in Calfion, buy it there. You can buy strawberries, same thing. Grapes and fruits are, I mean, grapes and strawberries are fruit types, okay? Just to settle the sweet tea and the milk tea. But what's really nice about cooking right now, if you want to make the monies, okay, you're talking about the memes, all right, which are very, very complicated to make. So if you're not into cooking, then I'm just trying to be because this is where the money's at, all right? Your night combat rations, five all attack, uh, all damage reduction, and extra damage against humans, that kind of stuff. Very good for PvP, arguably the best food right now for PvP. Battle loss meal, very good for fishing, uh, very good for gathering. Movement seed not that important, but yeah, gathering and fishing really nice. And then all the other meals as well. Media meal, all attack 5, casting speed and attack speed plus 1. If you want to try hard, for example, if you don't want to use a crystal to attack speed, cap yourself at level 5, you can be at level 4, put an all AP crystal on your weapon, for example, and you can get that plus 1 attack speed. I'm not sure if this goes or you can stack this attack speed, I'm not sure about this. Now someone let me know in the comments if you know if this stacks. Probably not. But yeah, Mews are where the money is at. I spent like 2-3 million buying Mews myself. You can see I have night combat rations over here. I didn't make them myself, I bought them. Because they're very very tedious and troublesome to make. But that's about cooking and the significance of cooking in this game and why I want to do cooking in this game. Let's move on. Processing, right? So how do you level up processing? Okay, so processing is important because you need to get a processing the professional 5 and you're gathering to uh to skilled 10 so people that unlock what we call skilled uh heating okay and obviously you need to do the beginner one so before i get to the skilled part to you need to go learn all the you know your production if you press l all these things right so all this little like shaking grinding chopping drying filtering heating 
the rest I think not that important but yeah okay you press your black spirit bring it up go on the guide okay and then under here it will show you like beginner like for example I've done all the beginner ones already so it shows here drying skill filtering skill grinding skill right so you have that so you can go on suggested and you can also see the quest over here skill paradigm right all these things will help you unlock all the skilled stuff that is there the chain of quests so to unlock the skill heating quest you have to do all the beginner ones first or at least the beginner uh heating one or processing if i'm not wrong and then later on you'll be able to unlock the uh knowledge or the quest to do the heating skill and to do that quest or to unlock that quest the requirement is that you have gathering skill 10 and processing professional 5 right so let's talk about processing first how to level up processing so again if you watch my previous videos you have gotten the all notes right all notes and remember how i talked about the fishing about the pure iron crystals and the pure copper crystals that you need the reason why you need heat ski uh heating skill the knowledge for heating skill is because you need to make this thing called metal uh sorry to make pure crystals you need to have heating skill so you basically heat metal solvents with uh, the ingot that you need. For example, if you want pure copper crystals, then it's metal solvents plus uh, copper ingots. If you need pure iron crystals like me, then you need uh, metal solvents with iron ingots. And you can only heat them together to get uh, pure whatever crystals if you have the knowledge for heating skill. If you don't have that, you can't do it. That is why you need to do this, okay? So the level up, to level your processing, right, it's very simple, okay? You have your all notes, your iron ores at coastal cliff. You have your copper ores and iron ores over here. Okay, you have more iron ores and copper ores at northern hider quarry. You have uh, at glish your copper or your iron ore, sorry. And also, uh, this one coal is important for steel because you need that for the fishing rods as well. Coal plus melted iron shards gives you steel when you heat them, by the way. And also, if you want to level up your processing, processing faster, you can also process flax. And you have one flax nodes over here at Coastal Farm, and one more over here at Moretti Farm as well. And you can process all your ores to level your processing. All right. So to get the level five processing, just process all those things. You will get there because you have so many uh, avenues where you get all these resources to get, you know, your ores, and you can process them to level up processing. So once you get a professional five, next thing gathering, right? So basically, to level up gathering, you gather. But the whole point about this video is to share with you what I gather and what I'm doing with my gathering or the things that I gather, okay? So gathering, you're looking at something called rough stones, right? Because to, to make pure X crystals, you need metal solvents. And to make metal solvents, you need rough stones, right? You also need this thing called the uh, trace of savagery, which I'll share now, which you'll need to make metal solvents, which is a material that you need to make pure X crystals or, you know, pure iron or pure copper or pure whatever crystals, okay? Trace of savagery is over here at the Lynch Farm Ruins, okay, in the excavation node. You need to do un or unlock the knowledge of this node by sacrificing 35 energy. I'm not sacrificing energy. You need to pay, quote unquote, pay Zara Lynch 35 energy to unlock the knowledge for this place. Then you can see the node for it. So when I first played the game, I didn't know that you have to do that. So bear in mind, if you don't have this node yet, you have to go uh, to Zara Lynch physically, pay her 35 energy, if I remember correctly, and then this node will come out. It's like a knowledge kind of thing. And Trace of Savagery is from here. That's actually your, your main and your most uh, hard material to get. Trace of Savagery. I think from the beginning of time, which is, by the way, 25 days into the game right now, I've only gotten 200 and... Including the current 57 that I have right now. Yeah, about 257 Trace of Savagery because I've used 200 to make my copper... I mean, my pure iron crystals, okay? And even though I didn't discover this very early, I won't say that it's 25 days worth, I think I only saw this node and invested in this node about a week and a half in. So it's less than it's like 14 days maybe, probably less of my excavation, uh, you know, worker here. And know that it takes a very long time, about two hours plus to actually uh, prop this, this node, right? So you actually, how do I put it, controlled by the amount of trace of surgery that you have to even make metal solvents in the first place. And they are quite, rare in the marketplace and I personally do not come to get it. In any case, you need Trace of Surgery when you make metal solvents. You need two of them. You need rough stones, you need four rough stones per three metal iron shots and clear liquid reagent, which is why you need alchemy, okay? But rough stones, right? So I, you need to gather like 400 rough stones if you want to make 100 metal solvents, which is what I did. 
And the reason why I'm here right now is that while you're leveling up, you're gathering to skill 10, you might want to come over here to grind, not grind, to mine the rough stones, right? So this place is east of Belia. You can see this little water puddle here. So when you open your map, right click the water puddle right here, and you'll see the path over there. So you can actually run up from here. You can see there's like a mini path and you can climb up, all right? So why this place is good for rough stones, unlike some of the other areas, for example, when you do the quest for like rough stones or polished stones, right? They'll ask you to go to Northern Guard Camp. There's a bunch of like fell spar over here, right? But it's not a very, very good place because there's not enough uh, fell spar nodes. So over here, you have like four or five different types of things to mine. You have your andesite, you have your bloodstones, you have your sandstones, uh, yeah, you have your sandstones as well. So this is not the location, by the way. This is not the location. You are looking at climbing up. Follow this stream of river or water, go up. All right, go deep inside and you'll find the entire area with bloodstones uh, and this side and this side uh, sandstones uh, grinite even fell spar as well so this is the my go to go to location for rough stones just sharing that with you right now so what else did i do for gathering all right i'm actually preparing myself for the inferior ship when it is released in the future no idea when it's gonna be i'm repairing it because you need to get around thirteen thousand or 13k lots and you need about 13,000 pine. Assuming you have processing artisan one, which is why processing is important in the game, which is why I got my processing the artisan one. Because you need to process your flex, you need to process your quote unquote process, okay? Your logs, you also need to process your pine timber in that sense, okay? So you want to get uh, artisan one processing to get the most procs. If not, if you're like beginner processor, right? Processing, you need 80,000 80, logs, which is not what you want. Right now, I have 4.9k logs and about 6,100 pine timber okay so that's what i've been leveling up my gathering with and the other reason why you want to get pure iron crystals i didn't mention at the start is because the tools that you want to use for gathering for example mining your shiny steel pickaxe and your shining steel lumbering axe they need one pure iron crystal to craft as well which is why this pure iron crystal thing is is cool to know right you can see i have and they are 250 durability 250 durability is basically eight all right you have to buy eight improve whatever utility from the npc the material vendor and they are 50k so you're saving 400,000 silver more than that actually because it's 240 derivative with eight right so you're saving you're, you're not i would say you're saving but basically you need to carry eight and eight is eight lt if you uh, are using those as well and basically you save yourself a lot of inventory slots if you can craft your shiny shining uh, tools with iron crystals right so for gathering all right, where I gather my pine and logs, I go to Florin, okay. Uh, Florin over here, this entire region for pine is nice. You can also go to Trend, but I go to Florin because from here, I can ride back to Calfion and put back all the logs. Trend, so Calfion is pretty far, okay. So I, I, I do Florin. If not, Trend is quite nice for pine timber as well, but I do Florin, yep. And so rough stones and logs and timber, that's how I level my gathering to professional uh, five right now okay so done with processing done with gathering so rough stones is here locked is there for free shipping so next thing we're talking about is alchemy how do i level my alchemy very simple you just need to craft two things or one of these tools or you can choose both up to you a uh, clear liquid reagent which is one of the materials you need for metal solvents but you just need like 100 because you need one clear liquid reagent per craft for the metal solvent so you can actually just craft 100 clear liquid reagent why do i say that you don't want to craft your clear liquid reagent to level of alchemy unless you're going to dive from the alchemy itself which i haven't i leveled it to make metal solvents primarily and only that all right so to make a uh, clear liquid reagent you need the sunrise herb all right sunrise herb you can see now only 23 in the market right now because some alchemists must have bought it or some guy that's trying to level alchemy must have bought it okay you can get sunrise herb from here the balanos forest okay about four days so far with uh what's this Professional Goblin, I've gotten about 1.2k uh, Sunrise Herb. You need, to, you need to craft around 1.2 to 1.5 uh, crafts of Clear Liquid Reagent in that sense to level Alchemy to Professional 1. And you need Professional 1 to craft Metal Sour in the first place, which is why you need to level up Alchemy, by the way, if you haven't noticed. okay, Metal Sour requires you to have Alchemy level 1 to make. I mean, Alchemy Professional 1 to make. Okay. So to make 
uh, clear liquid reagent, you need weeds. Alright, so where do I gather my weeds? Again, you can do this to level up your gathering, but I didn't do that. I got, I got rustlands and I got logs for leveling my gathering. But you still need weeds. So where do I gather my weeds? Marino farm, this entire green patch. That's where I gather my weeds. The other area that you can get is uh, northwest of Hydro if you're lazy to venture out too far from town. In case you're camping for an uh, item from the marketplace, for example, and you need to rush back, that kind of stuff. That's two areas that I get my weeds. And basically it's in a ratio of one. So one weed, uh, one salt, I believe, uh, one purified water, and one sunrise herb. Okay, so purified water, it's always available. There are people that actually go around gathering water to level up their gathering. And you can see that in bulk. So you don't have to worry about purified water. You can spend silver to buy them. You don't have to go and gather them yourself. It takes too long, IMO, and you want to spend your time EFK fishing, as I mentioned at the start. Okay? So purified water you can buy. So you don't want to do sunrise herb, right? If uh, you want to rush alchemy. So what else can you do? The other thing that you can craft is pure powder reagent, which requires, again, you still need one wheat. So you still need to gather wheat. You can't escape from the wheat gathering, okay? The other thing that you can do to level your alchemy is pure powder reagent, which you need the silver as a layer. You can see 24,000 silver as earlier. So compared to the clear liquid reagent, as I mentioned, just in like 100 for 100 crafts of the metal solvent, the silver as earlier is better, easier to get. You can buy in bulk easily. So you can buy about, about 1,000 silver as earlier, uh, maybe buy 500 uh, sunrise up if you can camp for them. If not, you can wait a few days for your Balanos uh, forest, is it? Yep. To gather sunrise herb and then you can do both to level up with alchemy to professional one thereby allowing you to craft metal solvents right and make sure you get at least 100 clear re liquid reagents so yep purified water weeds uh uh pure powder reagents uses sugar clear liquid reagent uses salt all right salt you can buy from the cooking npc inside the inn okay if you didn't know all right but if you have done a beer cooking then you know where to buy your sugar or your salt. So alchemy leveling is very simple. That's just that's it. Get your alchemy to professional one, then you can make your metal solvent. And for metal solvent, as I mentioned just now, trace of savagery will be your control factor. You cannot get a lot of trace of savagery very quickly right now in the game. And you can also actually have a chance to get trace of savagery by killing elites, but it's quite rare and definitely not a reliable way to get trace of savagery. Camping marketplace is not good as well. So you can want to do this pure crystal, iron crystal thing when you have enough trace of surgery that's one thing that you can use as a guiding thing before you start to do all these things and then your rough stones is over here you need 400 rough stones to have 100 crafts of metal solvent so rough stones over here so that's for alchemy right and i think that's about it that's my life skill sharing experience uh so far right so for alchemy sorry for alchemy when you're leveling make sure you use a, a suit tea, as i mentioned just now for life skill exp you also want to get a plus one alchemist clothes if you can. Five fill stacks, you can try to combine them to get plus one. Usually, you should get it. If not, you can keep trying until you get a plus one. It gives you 10% more alchemy EXP. The plus zero one does not have that 10%. So 10% over here, 8% over a suit key. Really nice for you to be able to level up your alchemy to professional one in about 1,500 crafts of your you know, clear liquid reagent or your uh, pure powder reagent. And also the minus two seconds alchemy time is nice for you know faster crafts if you if you want 10 seconds alchemy crafting you know what i'm saying so i think that's about it i managed to string the video from 40 minutes to 30. some claps all right some claps i'm very proud of myself right now in any case let me just see my notepad see if i pissed out anything yep so nope so metal solvent to pure iron crystal or whatever crystal that you want is metal solvent plus the ingot. So just melt or melted shards to get the ingot that you want. And you can get a pure iron crystals. And I think you see the person is gathering water right now. Uh, that's about it for my life skills sharing. If you have any questions about life skills, just share with me in the comments below. Uh, if you have any heart burning questions, I stream every day to shout slash kazoo Aikawa again, links in the description below. 7 p.m. GMT. Uh, plus 8 onwards, uh, Singapore time basically, or wherever GMT plus 8 time is, you know, some people call it uh, whatever time, Malaysia time, you know, whichever place that you're at, that is GMT plus 8, okay? So, I stream every day, you can come down to my stream to ask me any hard any questions, I'll always share with you, and I have a nice Discord community with a bunch of really, really nice and positive people, 
You can check out my Discord community. Not just for Black Desert Online, they play a bunch of other games. Links in the description below as well. Check that out. And if you enjoy my videos, if you want to help me out, you can always give me a follow on Twitch, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you are really, really nice, you can also subscribe to my Twitch channel uh, to lend me a good helping hand as well. You know, to spot me if you want to. If not, name has been Nakawa Kazoo. Thanks for watching. Uh, yeah, God bless and I'll see you guys and girls in the next one. Take care and bye-bye.